All right, folks, I have something very special for you today. This right here is the Elvis unit. This is the ambulance that carried Elvis away on the day he passed away, took him from Graceland to the hospital. This ambulance, by the time you see this, it's already being shown live at the Tiger Man Museum in Memphis. So go check it out. Billy Stallings, the spa guy, the man responsible for bringing this ambulance back into the public eye and putting it into the museum. And I got a chance to interview him as he was uh, as he was cleaning it up. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, go check out Tiger Man Museum in Memphis. So you obviously have uh, ways to document. You've said several times that it's documented that this is the right ambulance. Yes. I um, have paperwork from the city of Memphis. That's huge. I have um, photographs. There was one photograph that was sold in 1977 for $100,000. The guy happened to be standing there when this ambulance came through the gate. Um, and if you go back and look at that photograph, there's something very telling in that photograph that you'll see on this vehicle. And that is, if you look at that photograph, you'll see this pucker in this bent bumper right here. You'll see it when it's coming through the gate. You will see that bent bumper. So it was a 75 model. So in the first two years of its life, that bumper got bent somehow. And, um, and it shows up in those photos. And then I have other photos that were taken that same day by someone else that never made it to the public that we just got that have that same pucker. But the, the ambulance is further up the driveway. So that picture was actually taken before the one coming through the gate. They took a picture of it going in. They took a picture of it uh, coming down. They took a picture of it leaving. And from the back, you can see the number six on it. Um, and then you see photos of this later when they're going back days after when the people are all gathered around for the funeral. You see this same truck with that same bent bumper coming through the gate. And those pictures are owned by, who's the big picture? Picture, uh, oh, uh, not Getty. Yeah, Getty. Getty? Yeah, if it's owned by Getty. I think I'm gonna, I bought some towels. I'm just gonna wipe that off instead of wet. I went and bought a bunch of stuff to clean with. And I'll take all this stuff with me. Yeah. And I may wash it again before I put it inside. We'll see how it looks. So now you have the back doors open. When, when you display this, of course, by the time people see this, it will already be in display and available to come view. But how will you be uh, showing it? My plan is to have the back doors open okay. and to redo, clean it, put the stretcher back in it, put the seat back in it. And all these areas, you can look in there where it has the little the little doodads. What were they called? Dynamos Dime, back then? Dynamos? Um, where it tells you what's in that that bin, we're gonna put those things back in those bins and try to make it look like a working ambulance. Right. And uh, I don't have a stretcher as you can see, but I know where a stretcher's at. Uh, there's So the uh, the different symbols on each side of the, the uh, vehicle, yeah. the GMC and the Chevrolet. Yeah. Is there any more to that? Well, I saw something a while ago that I was gonna show you. You see how the box, when you get past the, the red, is white. You okay. see the original up yep. under? You see it's red? Yep. And you see this side right here actually has really, really good paint on it. You really can't see through the paint. That's right. And if you do see through the paint, it's white under. So the truck was originally white. You okay. see right here where it's gone? Yep. It went back to white. This is the side that's got the Chevrolet symbol. And you can see that this is a Chevrolet. Yes. If you come to this side, when you look through it, it's black. You see this? Uh -huh. So this fender and this door and probably this back clip or whatever was at one point replaced. And uh, that's why it's GMC on this side. They probably took it from a GMC 
And uh, but I saw what I was washing and I went, mm, this is black underneath yeah. where the other one is white. So I think they replaced this and this and the door. And you can even see in here, it looks like, you see that, that it looks like a little bit of Bondo yep. set up in there. And uh, so I think they, at one point, in fact, right back here is kind of bent in. So I think it was wrecked on this side, outside of this dent in the door. And there's even a little Bondo right there. You see that? I can yep. pull on that and probably break it off. That's Bondo right there. Right. Yeah. I also noticed that there's no, no, uh, there was no sticker or emblem here, logo. Yeah. There is over here, but I, yeah. I don't know what it was. Yeah. It would have probably been the dealer that built the, that built the unit. It would have been here. And this was built in Shelbyville, Tennessee, by the way, this Hamlet's unit. Okay. So the, I can't remember the name of the company, but that would have probably been right there. And it would have been on both sides. So this, when they pulled it off, and you can see it's white behind it right there. Yep. When they pulled this off, there's holes in there and they pick it on and they put a little clips on the back. Yep. So they would easily pull that off and put it on the other side. Um, but that other thing was double-sided tape, so they just didn't bother with it. But this right here, they sprayed it white. You see that? Mm -hmm. They put the Cheyenne on it and then they sprayed around it um, orange. Yeah. So this thing was wrecked a couple times. That's all Bondo right this? there. That was a... Uh, uh, go to the other side. There's something, something over there. Yeah. I think it may have been the mirror originally. Uh, yep. I think the one of the mirrors had like uh, multiple things on it, and they changed it eventually to smaller mirrors. And if you look, you can see some telltale signs in the in the photos. You'll see um, uh, on the back of it. You'll see two of those. And you can get up there, the other one's just missing. Oh, okay. So it was there. It's just gone. Gotcha. And so you'll see a lot of that kind of stuff around uh, when you're when you're looking at it. That's that's missing now, just because um, things got torn off of it. Kids played on it, bent the hood. Where it was at in the backyard, I could tell that kids had been playing inside of it, and also adults. There was beer cans inside of it. Um, it was just a, a hangout thing in the backyard. You know, if I was a kid, I'd have probably gone out there and played in it and pretended. Yeah. It's a wonder they didn't destroy the inside of the back. Yeah. The inside of this part looks really, really good. Yeah. Um, the inside, the, the truck part of it is what didn't do well right. uh, with the with its age and the, you know, the uh, being in the, in the weather. <laughs> 